right, you mentioned uh, he was the quarterback. So what now? The quarterbacks left on the Jets roster are Bryce Petty, who the team drafted this year in the fourth round out of Baylor, and Ryan Fitzpatrick, who's coming back from a fractured tibia. Jake Heaps is also on there, who's an undrafted rookie. Stephen A., where do the Jets go from here? Hmm. You know the way I look at it? I look at it from this standpoint, Skip. Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to be the guy. I understand that. But I'm really, really hoping that Bryce Petty develops sooner than later. I like Bryce Petty. I was mm -hmm. very, very excited that when the Jets ultimately grabbed him. I mean, you know, the fourth round, 103rd mm -hmm. overall yep. pick. I was very excited about that because I watched this kid at Bailey. He's got some skills. He's mm -hmm. got some talents. He does. And I think that his upside may very well be greater than Geno Smith. Mm -hmm. So when I look at it from that perspective, I kind of like the thought of Bryce Petty ultimately developing sooner than later. Now, I brought up Ryan Fitzpatrick. We were at the Jets camp last week, and thanks again to the New York Jets for the great. hospitality they mm -hmm. gave us. It's they gave beautiful. us everybody. They gave us yeah. uh, Bowles. They gave us McCagney. They Fine gave show. us Revis and Cromartie. And, uh, yeah. and, 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 of course, our boy Brandon Marshall. And, and I don't put any of this, by the way, on Bowles. I mean, forget, you know, they talk about the Jets a mess or whatever the case may be. He's been put behind the eight ball, and that ticks me off. Another African-American coach. You got African-American players not sensitive to the brother in the position that he's in. Don't even get me started with that. I'm going to be nice today. Mm. But I will say this. Ryan Fitzpatrick. I watched him practice a little bit last week. Wasn't that impressed. Arm strength wise. Just doesn't seem to be there. Not too much mm. velocity on his throws. I know that he had a relatively decent year last year. If you complete 63% of your passes, you know, you, you make the Houston Texans a little bit respectable. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a, like a five-game improvement from the year before, despite Jadavion Clowney being injured. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give Ryan Fitzpatrick his respect. But obviously, you know, that's not ideal for the yeah. New York Jets. That's not what you would have wanted to go into training camp with. So... I'm not as excited. This, to me, can be a blow because say what you want about Geno, his arm strength was there. His decision-making was horrible, yep. and we know that part. But his arm strength was there. He's got some wheels on him, yep, and with a Brandon Marshall, and with an Eric Decker, and with Jeremy Curley, and with a, a Jay Samaro and Cumberland at the tight end spot, and with Bilal Powell, and Chris Ivory, yep. and Steven Ridley. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm looking at the New York Jets offense with Mangold and the Brick Shore back with the other pieces that they have. Mm -hmm. If you can just be serviceable, serviceable, as elite as that defense is expected to be, the New York Jets can make some noise. I just don't believe that Ryan Fitzpatrick could be that dude. I hope I'm wrong. He seems like a really nice guy, and he's been around a long time, but I'm just not sure he's that guy. So what I'm really praying for is that Bryce Petty develops mm -hmm. a hell of a lot sooner than later. Okay. I'm with you on that. To me, nothing really changed with that punch that connected yesterday. Because I've told you, I told you before the draft, I told you this year, never sold on Gino, not sold now on Gino, not accurate enough, and I wonder about those franchise quarterback intangibles. So when we were at Jets camp, I, I told you on the air, I, I thought it was just preordained. Chan Gailey is the new coordinator. Chan Gailey was the head coach in Buffalo in 2010, 11, and 12, and the starting quarterback was Ryan Fitzpatrick. Mm -hmm. Chan Gailey and Todd Bowles want to make immediate impact. Yes. They would, I'm sure, like to win now. I don't think they want to wait you know, on Bryce Petty. You spend you know, the money that you spent this offseason to be... With that defense to, 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 and all that, all, that, now's the time. all that new talent on offense that you talked about now's with the Brandon the Marshall. Now's the time. Okay, you, you, you have to resort to your best Again, he's not plan A, but he's a better plan B than the plan C that is Gino. It's as simple as that. Gotcha. And look, Gino got booed last Saturday night in the green and white annual scrimmage at MetLife because he fumbled early and then he almost threw his first interception of camp, a near interception. And the Jets fans are so down on him, they jumped on him already. So I didn't love his chances, even though they had proclaimed him the starter because I think they wanted him to feel like he was the starter so he could start the first couple of preseason games to just see how he handled being the quote-unquote starter. I don't know how he would have handled it, but I think ultimately it was still going to be Ryan Fitzpatrick. I'm with you. He doesn't have a big arm. He, he goes about 6'2", 225. He has started 
89 games in the mm -hmm. National Football League. That's that's a lot of games. Yeah. That's a lot of experience. He did go to Harvard. That's mm -hmm. neither here nor there yeah. because you have to have football IQ. Mm -hmm. I think he has pretty good football IQ. He did have his best numbers last year, even though they weren't sensational. Best QBR, yeah. 17 touchdowns to only eight interceptions. Mm -hmm. Helped enormously by that Week 13 game. Tennessee went to Houston, and he threw six touchdowns mm -hmm. to no interceptions. That's so right. that really boosted no that question. total. Was that an aberration game? Probably it was. Mm -hmm. But I remind you, under Chan Gailey, remember 2010? Ryan Fitzpatrick got off to a hellacious hot start. Remember, they went 3-0. and They beat yeah. Tom Brady at home. But, but once again, but okay. that's five years okay. ago. Remember what happened? Right. They gave him the big money. They gave him a $59 million six-year extension with $24 million guaranteed. And what happened from 5-2 and two on? They finished 6-10. and ten. That's probably more Ryan Fitzpatrick than the 5-2 and two opening. Well, like I okay. said, when I looked at him, I saw a guy that's obviously considerably older. Yeah. Uh, you know, from a physicality perspective, right. he doesn't really stand out with, you know, and then that was five years ago. So there's a little more wear and tear on your body, mm -hmm. more punishment, getting banged yep. up a little bit, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And I just don't see, uh, you know, the just 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 somebody that I have too much confidence in. I, I got from you. a physical standpoint, I think he knows. I think he's the right guy for your locker room. I think from a, for a stopgap purpose, he can do some things yep. for you. But I don't have a lot of faith in him right now. Okay. I'm hoping Bryce Petty gets it done. Bryce Petty. I was on record. I don't know if you remember this. Before remember. the draft, I think he will prove to be ultimately even better than Mariota will be. I thought he should have been the second quarterback picked in the draft, and Mariota, as you recall, went number two to Jameis. And then two more quarterbacks were picked before the fourth round, fourth pick in the fourth round, where Bryce Petty went. But I do not want to see him get thrown into this fire this year. Ain't ready. It, he's coming from that run and shoot offense at Baylor. He's a good kid with a big personality the New York media will love. He's got all the the intangibles mm -hmm. and the tangibles, but but I don't want to see him ruined by a, s some rocky Jets start. I agree with that, but you're talking about how you would have taken him as the second quarterback. Yes, I would have. He's the 103rd pick overall. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just said. That's their yeah, fault, I mean, Mari not my fault. Mariota was the second, second pick So you're in the saying draft. Bryce Petty deserved to be the number two overall pick? Yeah, Garrett Grayson went next, and then Sean Mannion went before Bryce Petty went. Yes, I say he's the he number prove, two overall. Pick. I do. He he will prove to be better than Mariota. Book it. No, I, you know it's okay. possible. I'm just right. saying the number two overall pick, Bryce Betty. I don't know if you would. No, I wouldn't yet. have taken Mariota with the second overall okay. pick. That okay. was way too high. All right. Okay. okay? But right. they're desperate, and God bless them. So right. we'll see what happens. Okay. So see. A, a lot of question marks as it stands right now. Of the four AFC East quarterbacks projected to start Week One, only one, Ryan Tannehill, has started a game for his current team with Fitzpatrick Garoppolo in Castle. Up next, we move to another AFC East QB that's fighting, but this battle is in the courtroom. Brady versus Goodell. The first court meeting is today. We get into that next. Stay here. You know nothing. Just get my work. And we're at the midweek point with plenty of hot topics heading your way to get a jump on what we'll be discussing on Hump Day. Just go to our Instagram page where you can also leave your takes. I just hit the